Yeah, so our friends from the Tennessee Archives of Moving Image and Sound have a big event coming up celebrating a true groundbreaker from Knoxville named Buford Delaney. And we have Eric Dawson with Tamas here along with William Isom from East Tennessee PBS's Black and Appalachia. We really appreciate both of you coming on. Um, let's talk about um, Buford Delaney. Who was he and, and what was his impact? Uh, Buford Delaney was an artist that was born here in Knoxville. Uh, he, he did move away at a fairly early age, but his impact was huge. Uh, it's just now sort of being recognized. And uh, William and Black and Appalachia have made this wonderful documentary that sort of explains his story more. Who, what type of person was he? He was, he, Buford Delaney was this huge uh, personality. He had a great sense of humor, but also was deeply spiritual. And I think a lot of that stuff that he learned, his dad was a preacher, traveling preacher here in East Tennessee and Southwest Virginia. And so he took that spirituality with him as he traveled from Boston to New York wow. to Paris, where he ultimately passed away. Talk about his art form. Yeah, it's abstract expressionism is what Buford was known for. Uh, and little known, he's one of the greatest African-American abstract expressionists and abstract, abstract expressionists in general. And portraits, abstract expressionism, complete abstraction and abstraction with some realism in it. Wow. And so, and so how are you all helping with this whole thing? Well, so uh, Tamas has a free monthly screening down at Central Cinema every month, and we, of course, show films from our archive, but we like to show films from other archives, and we like to invite people in the community have made films and we thought we'd call Black and App Appalachia up and invite them to show two of the films that they've made with Knoxville based history and some of the footage we're seeing is actually comes from our archive. Uh, we're, we're very happy to uh, you know, make footage available for people making documentaries, especially when it's about such an interesting part of Knoxville mm -hmm. history. And the other one's a little more dark. Yeah, the dark, other one's a darker time, right? It's a darker time, but it actually they, they, they're related because it's from the, the racial unrest that occurred in Knoxville in the red summer of 1919, yeah. which had an impact on Buford Delaney. That's one of the reasons he left Knoxville. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. And these screenings remind us the times that they're taking place. So it's going to be next Thursday, 7 p.m. at uh, Central Cinema. It's absolutely free. Each documentary is half an hour, so it's going to go a little bit of an hour. And William will be there to introduce and talk about it a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. Any of his pieces here in Knoxville? Actually, if you right now the Knoxville Museum of Art has a huge exhibition going on uh, that's uh, it's going to be going on for some time, and okay. so they've got. It's uh, kind of the celebration of Buford Delaney and James Baldwin, who were um, friends, best friends. Okay. Wow. Well, Fun awesome. to work on project? Great to work on. It's hard to tell somebody's life story in a short documentary. Yeah. I yes. mean, he's no, like, you could tell probably James Taylor's biography in 30 minutes, but you can't tell somebody that had such a wide breadth of life yeah. uh, and art in 30 minutes, but we tried. Yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations, and it uh, should be a great night. Yeah, thanks. Thank you.